Do you have an injury where your fingernail or your toenail are torn off? You gotta be pretty worried, because, I mean, look at this thing. Get a stick under it. Is it ever gonna grow back? Is it gonna be normal? Do you have that effect where you have a nail growing on top of a nail growing under? I'm gonna tell you what to do about all these. So, normally, I'm gonna focus on a toenail here, but when you stub your toe really bad, you get some blood that forms underneath it, and it gets kind of loose, just like in that picture earlier can also look like this a couple days later some blood forms so what do you do and at the same time I'm going to be talking about injuries right here but I'll tell you tell you about other very common reasons why nails can get loose but the thing I'm going to ignore here is nutritional and vitamin deficiencies things like that because odds are that it's not happening to you especially if you have internet access Okay, so first thing you want to do is put some ice on your toe. You want to be able to do this for 15 to 20 minutes just to get that swelling down. And this will help the healing process start better. Usually you want to ice about 15 to 20 minutes about three times per day throughout the first three to seven days depending on how long you have the swelling. At the same time, it never hurts to elevate. This drains the swollen blood back into your body and prevents it from pooling. This pooling prevents your blood from circulating and healing faster. Anti-inflammatory medications too, like your ibuprofens, your naproxen, your aspirins, these work very well. If you're bleeding, you know, uh, get that cleaned up first, but you want to control the inflammation. And the one thing I'll say, acetaminophen or Tylenol, that's not really for these types of injuries. That's more for fevers and headaches. The next thing you want to do after the first three to seven days, after the swelling's down, take the loose nail and cut, clip it off. You don't have to do this, but in your big toe, if it pushes against your shoe, it could cause it to rip off even further. So I'm just a big fan of clipping it back a little bit. Then take some in the meantime, like especially right off the bat and after you clipped it back a little bit, take some antibiotic ointment, so your triple antibiotic ointment, your neosporin, that kind of stuff, and put it on there. And if you do have any fever, chills, nausea, or anything, it's good to go see your podiatrist or your emergency room doctor or whoever to get some antibiotics because you probably do have an infection. Then you just want to wrap it, not too tight where your toe's numb, but a wrap like this will help the pooling of blood go on. And you can do this again for the first couple of weeks. You could even just do a band-aid if it's not bad. The thing that's good for you is the nail grows back. If there's no permanent damage, like skin ripped off, like a degloving injury where the nail root even came out, then you're probably going to be good. The nail might come in kind of ugly early. Like the splinter nail is very common where the old nail doesn't really fall off, but a new nail grows underneath it. Eventually it's going to kick that thing out. And the nail grows very slowly, about one millimeter per month. And if you have a 10 millimeter nail, toenail, then you do the math. That's going to take almost a year to grow back. You can do things to make it grow back faster, but these aren't really creams or vitamins. A lot of people really push for that, but the studies really aren't there to back it. It might be possible, but there's just no studies out there really to back it. And the only thing you can really do is stay healthy, get lots of sunlight, get lots of exercise, have good blood flow, you know, ease down on the smoking, that kind of stuff. So even if you're a person like, unless you're a person like this, you're going to get back to this. This is 99.9% .9 of people, unless you have some systemic problems. So most causes, like I said, are traumatic injuries, and you can prevent these by, you know, weight loss, getting better shoes, stretching your calves better, so you put less pressure on your forefoot, getting bigger shoes, getting inserts. Going to your podiatrist is very big for biomechanical abnormalities, like knee, back injuries. This is for people who keep, you know, they're, you're on your, like, fourth or fifth nail that's coming off. But if you just dropped a bowling ball, don't worry about the prevention. And if you have a nail that kind of looks yellow, thick, fungusy like this, it is nail fungus. And I could talk for this about a week, but if you want to learn more about this and how to prevent this type of nail falling off or fungus, come to DetroitFootPain.com. The address is right under the video or the next slide. 
So see you guys there if you want more help with that. But otherwise, good luck with your toenail. Do not try any of this at home alone without supervision. This is presented by Michigan Foot Doctors. If you think our information helped you, give us a thumbs up and come visit the site for even more.